freedom and dignity. Let me also urge every nation to recommit to strengthening the nuclear nonproliferation regime through diplomacy. No matter what else is happening in the world, the United States is ready to pursue critical arms control measures. A nuclear war cannot be won and must never be fought. The five permanent members of the Security Council just reaffirmed that commitment in January. But today, we're seeing disturbing trends. Russia shunned the non-proliferation proliferation, proliferation ideals embraced by every other nation at the 10th NPT Review Conference. And again, today, as I said, they're making irresponsible nuclear threats to use nuclear weapons. China is conducting an unprecedented concerning nuclear buildup without any transparency. Despite our efforts to begin serious and sustained diplomacy, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea continues to blatantly violate UN sanctions. And while the United States is prepared for a mutual return to the joint comprehensive plan of action if Iran steps up to its obligations, the United States is clear we will not allow Iran to acquire a nuclear weapon. I continue to believe that diplomacy is the best way to achieve this outcome. The nonproliferation regime is one of the greatest successes of this institution. We cannot let the world now slide backwards, nor can we turn a blind eye to the erosion of human rights, perhaps singular among this body's achievements stands the Universal Declaration of Human Rights.